Can you smell it? You can smell it, can't you? Y'all know a good cup of coffee. Ah, oh. one of the best things about the morning, getting up, waking up. I guess that's the same thing as getting up, is waking up, but having your coffee. Sitting, chilling, watching a couple episodes of Ballers, getting some work done. Mm. Y'all ever see that? Ballers? Pretty good show. But anyway, we're going to head to the bowling center. I'm going to teach you a little something. Stay tuned. Here we are. Now we are actually in the shop and we can get some work done. And actually I just drilled a ball, which is the, the new Envy. The, uh, what is this one? The extreme Envy is what this one is. And we did another five inch pin on this. So we're going to get this bad boy in the reviews and we're going to go, I actually I've got the Envy tour Pearl as well, but let's go out here and we're going to talk about targeting a little bit out on the lanes. I want to show you uh, one of the things that I was actually just talking to one of my students about which is trying to figure out how to draw a line a lot of guys a lot of gals a lot of people love to say that they don't really even know where they look they're just kind of trying to get it into a general area which is okay but i want you to narrow it down just a little bit remember we talked about um looking at like three different boards in order to target what you're hitting and it's okay to hit any one of those three and that's what your focus should be on so that way you're not so tense you're not so caught up in trying to split boards you're not caught up trying to just hit that one individual board and then if you don't then it's all awful you just need to get your angles right that's what we were talking about this is kind of the same thing so if i turn you around here and i want you to think if we're sliding on about 25 right here with our left foot as a right hander and we're trying to get the ball to cross at about 13, 12, 13 right there, getting it going to the right, out towards where you can see that right there, that little reflection, you know, the reflection of the lane number, that's about where we're trying to get the ball to go. In order to get there, I don't want you to look at the arrows right here. I want you to draw it back a little bit closer to the dots down here. So it's literally gonna be drawing it from there all the way down to about here because if we draw it back, you'll see it comes right about to our foot, okay? So now we're not setting the ball down right where our foot is. It's actually the rule of seven. So by being at 25, we're actually gonna set the ball down right at about 22 or at about 18, but then we need the ball to cross right at about there. So about 17, 16, and then it'll keep going out to that spot down there. Sorry, I know it keeps focusing on my finger, but we're gonna try and focus on getting the ball to go from that area down there. So if I keep my finger low, that area down there, down to here, from there to here, okay? So you wanna try to draw an angle from there to here, and you're trying to focus then on hitting this part of the lane to get it to go there, to get it to go there. So it's just about drawing your angles. It's getting your lines set so you can see where the ball's gonna go. And again, you're just gonna try to find those three boards. One, two, three, somewhere right in there. You're just trying to hit right in there. It doesn't matter, actually, you're targeting down here. So you just wanna get it set somewhere right in here, these three boards, to get it to go right into that direction. So just think about that. So targeting doesn't have to be so complicated. We can just look at a general area for the most part but we want to at least narrow it down a little bit you don't have to be perfect especially when you're bowling league you certainly don't have to be perfect you can miss a little left you can miss a little right and you still got a really good chance to strike but targeting and being coming consistent is what's going to make you a better and better bowler especially when you go and bowl on some of the tougher patterns you've got to get more consistent and you are going to want to then narrow it down a little bit because then you're going to want to start focusing more on the break point and then you're going to want to focus on how, on how the ball's going through the pins, all that kind of stuff. So for today, focus on that. The next time you practice, go think of drawing a line from your target at the arrows back towards the dots and try to get your ball to just go on that path. You don't have to hit an exact board, but just try to think of visualizing that path and getting your ball to go down on that. I hope this helps, but I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, oh yeah, by the way, I need to let you guys know about something. Uh, there's a clinic coming up. That clinic that's coming up, it's gonna be a virtual clinic on 10pendoctors.com. It's this Wednesday night. We're gonna be talking about some of these things, but mostly we're gonna be talking about practice uh, techniques, things to 
go over when you're practicing, things to talk about when you're, or things to look at when you're practicing, things to try to work on when you're practicing, to try to get the most out of your practice session. So come on over to 10 I'm gonna put a link in the description for you to where you can go sign up for that. If you're not a member of the website, it's $9.99. If you are a member of the website, then it's free. You know, as long as you're a paid member, it's free for you. So if you're not a paid member already and you wanna be a part of this, you might as well become a paid member because then you get this and any other clinics that we do on there for free as well. Plus you get to be involved in the, the giveaways and everything else by being a member. So make sure to become a member and you get access to the knowledge base, the dictionary, everything. The, uh, I mean, everything you can think of on there is starting to grow. We're starting to get better, all the reviews, everything else. So make sure to join us over at 10pindoctors.com. And until next time, I'm out of here. See you guys later.